Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm excited to share with you updates on a sector which I'm very bullish about as the macro factors stack up nicely for them. We are beginning to see aluminium nearing record highs on supply disruptions. Tight supply, strong demand and escalating tensions in Ukraine are pushing the price of aluminium to its highest levels since the global financial crisis which is further fueling inflationary pressures. The metal which is used in everything from electric vehicles to beer cans rose as much as 3.3% to a 13-year high of over $3,200 per ton. And so in this video, I bring you two top aluminium stocks which are well positioned to ride this bull run and charge their way up to outperform the market. So make sure you watch till the end to see which of these two stocks deserve a place on your watch list and let me know in the comment sections below. Aluminium is often referred to as solid electricity because of the large amounts of power required to transform its key ingredient, alumina, into refined metal. And smelter capacity losses in Europe now stand at more than 800,000 tons, whilst in China, just under 3 million tons of output was suspended last year due to power constraints and tough energy control regulations. And more capacity could be sidelined after local authorities in one of China's most important producing regions imposed strict lockdown measures due to COVID-19 outbreak. And all of this is only pushing the price in one direction, and that's up. Goldman Sachs, for example, is forecasting that aluminium could surge to as much as $4,000 per ton this year as exceptional demand for the metal meets constrained output from China, which is rationing power and pinching production. And if Russia's warfare should turn into an actual war, exports of aluminium from Russia could get shut down entirely, which could get the price per ton to go ballistic. And so if you're bullish about this commodity, which we use on a daily basis, then please drop a like on the video to spread its reach. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss out on any of these gems. And you could also check us out on Twitter for live market updates. On the back of this market uncertainty, we are beginning to see investors flocking to US options trading. And so if you need a decent platform which enables you to trade options and OTC penny stocks, which we mostly cover on the channel and are not tradable on Robinhood or Weibo, you want to consider Interactive Brokers, which is a one-stop shop platform which can take your investment to another level including investing in OTC penny stocks, cryptos, options and more. It is an award-winning platform with some of the lowest costs in the industry, including some zero commission trades across 135 markets. So whether you are in the United States, Europe, Asia or Australia, you will be able to open an account with them. I personally use Interactive Brokers for my OTC investing and as you can see here, you can get most of the single, double or triple zero penny stocks which we have caught on the channel on the IBKR platform. So please check it out from the link in the top pinned comment and see for yourself. Thank you so much. And that said, let's get on with it with our first stop, which is Alcoa Corp Inc, ticker number AA on the New York Stock Exchange, which is punching hard and now sitting at $70 per share with a market cap of $13.2 billion. We first called it on the channel here in September at $48 per share and it is squeezing up strongly and soon to give us 100% gains in 6 months. We call these gems early on the Discord, and so if you are not on it yet, you should consider joining to learn from a vibrant community, live trading and training sessions, and loads, loads more. And since calling it, its momentum has been building up very strongly, punching over 70% and keeping the stock fundamentals aside, the macroeconomic environment bodes very well for this stock. And I don't think, looking at these macro factors, this will be cooling down anytime soon. And this is the reason why analysts are suddenly getting very excited about this play. Alcoa reported their fourth quarter and full year 2021 results that included the company's highest annual net income and earnings per share, driven by continued strength in alumina and aluminum pricing and solid operational performance. Their fourth quarter highlights included the following. Increased revenue to $3.3 billion, a 7% sequential increase and highest quarterly results since the fourth quarter of 2018. Generated $565 million in cash from operations and finished the quarter with a cash balance of $1.9 billion. And the full year highlights included posting the highest annual net income of $429 million, 
generated revenue of $12.12 billion, a 31% increase from 2020, and realized a 140% annual increase in adjusted EBITDA. And the CEO, Roy Harvey, commented that they had a transformative year in 2021 where they posted the highest ever annual net income, returned cash to their stakeholders, and significantly reduced their debt and pension obligations. And the performance demonstrates that their long-term strategies are delivering value and strengthening Alcoa so they can be successful through all phases of the commodity cycle. And they have a talented workforce, a portfolio of strategically located assets, a suite of low-carbon products, and innovative technologies with the potential to transform their industry. And they said higher aluminium and alumina prices and higher premiums for value-added products drove a 31% increase in revenue for 2021 to $12.2 billion. And annually, the average realized third-party price of primary aluminium increased 50% and the average realized third-party price of alumina increased 19%. And in 2022, the company projects total bauxite shipments to range between 48 to 49 million dry metric tons consistent with 2021. And total alumina shipments are expected to be between 14.2 to 14.4 million metric tons, an increase from 2021 with the resolution of the San Ciprian strike and recovery from the outage of bauxite unloader at Aluma. Alcoa expects that the current metal price index benefits will roughly offset the raw material and energy challenges and that improvements from the portfolio actions and sales contract pricing will mitigate other seasonal changes and headwinds, which is already exciting stuff. And if you feel the price of Alcoa is a bit punchy for you, then you want to check out our number two stock here, which is Century Aluminium Co, ticker number CENX, CENX, which is currently sitting at $18.46 per share with a market cap of $1.6 billion. And similar to Alcoa, Century has been responding very well to the macroeconomic environment, being up 62.9% over the last six months. And given the outlook of these commodity stocks, this bull run doesn't seem like it's going to be cooling down anytime soon. Century Aluminium Company is a global producer of primary aluminium and operates aluminium reduction facilities in the United States and Iceland. They operate three U.S. aluminium smelters in Hawksfield, Kentucky, Roberts, Kentucky, and Mount Holly, South Carolina, and one smelter in Gridatangi in Iceland. And their primary aluminium facilities produce standard grade and value-added primary aluminium products. And in their third quarter results, they reported shipments of primary aluminium for the third quarter ended September 30, 2021, increased 3% sequentially, driven by the restart of the project at Mount Holly and ongoing project activity at Holesville. And their net sales for the third quarter of 2021 increased by 10% sequentially due to higher aluminium prices and increased regional premiums. And Century also reported an adjusted net loss of $5.7 million for the third quarter of 2021 a $22.1 million improvement sequentially. And the CEO Roy Harvey commented that industry conditions remain robust in the third quarter with continued strong demand expansion in the markets in Europe and the United States. And at the same time, production cuts in China and Europe, driven by global energy shortages and Chinese decarbonization policies, have moved the global aluminium market into deficit, resulting in aluminium inventories falling into multi-year lows. And in their own operations, their expansion projects at Hallsville and Mount Holly progress on schedule and they continue to expect that both of these projects will be substantially complete by the year end. And like other market participants, they have begun to see inflationary pressure in many of the key raw materials, most significantly in energy and alumina, but their operations remain well positioned to continue to deliver strong results in the fourth quarter and beyond. And Century will report their fourth quarter 2021 earnings on Thursday, 24th February 2022, so we can expect some more positive news then. So what are analysts saying here? They say the energy crisis in Europe and power rationing in China, combined with strong demand underpinned by rising sales in EVs, has put a 66 billion ton per year aluminium market on a path to inventory depletion by 2023, according to Goldman Sachs which has set a 12 months price target of $4,000 for the metal. They say in the context of already critically low inventories in aluminium globally, big scenarios such as this one have Goldman Sachs thinking that aluminium markets are facing a melt-up in prices this year. That will obviously be bad news 
for the industrial manufacturing companies that will have to buy aluminium, whatever the price. But on the other hand, for investors in metal producers outside Russia and China, the prospect of higher prices is just more good reason to buy shares of companies like Alcoa and Century Aluminium. So some very very interesting and mind blown prospects ahead for these stocks, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I would love to hear from you, so please let me know your thoughts on these top commodity stocks in the comment sections below and what other commodity stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.